to win. Yeah, Jamie, so this parade is sponsored by the town of Pine Box, I do believe, and they've got a community that puts it together. Now, it ain't cost a lot of money to put on the parade as big as this parade is. They're doing a half-and-half -half drawing. You see the flagpole? You see the flag in front of the town hall? They've got a half-and-half -half drawing going on right over there. So you go spend a dollar, and you may win $500. Who knows? Half-and-half -half drawing, they're going to draw it. Are you going to draw it today, or are you... You're going to draw it this afternoon, so it will be drawn before the parade's over. So go by and make a contribution and help pay for the parade. And we thank the town of Pine Pops and all the committee. Uh, I think they do a great job. Absolutely. This town has been doing it for over 46 years now. Do you know what you were doing 46 years ago? I was at this parade. <laughs> I was part of the JC's uh, author. To author. I can't think of his last name. That shows you my members go. But anyway, he was the chairman of the parade back in 40 years ago, and that was a fabulous parade, and they uh, they come in here and really kept that momentum up. They really have. Absolutely. And uh, the crazy thing is, and the most spectacular thing is, is that we're going to still, still see things today that was in this parade 46 years ago. Absolutely. We're bringing some of the past and bringing some of the new in, so you can get a chance to see the wonderful stuff here today. Papa Abrams was the JC that really was chairman of the very first parade here 40 some years ago. And uh, he, uh, it really has, it's really stayed a good hour of entertainment. It really is. Absolutely. Across all fields, religious, uh, everything is in this parade. Dance group, it's uh, going to be a fabulous show for everybody. I tell you what, you look down Main Street, isn't it beautiful down there with all the all the poles, lamp posts covered in green red? Absolutely, and that is done by the wonderful utilities department here at Pine Tops. The people that keep the water running and the electricity going. So let's give a big round of applause to the utilities department here at Pine Tops, all right? Yeah. All righty. Well, as we go on, and press forward with a little bit more music here in just a second. So, if anybody can give me a big, quick wave, if you can hear me, all the way down to the Shell Station, all the way down to Abrams, just to make sure we're heard loud and clear. Just give us a big wave if y'all can hear us down there. If you can hear me, wave your hand. If you can hear me, wave your hand. Let's see how far we're going, okay? All right. We've all probably right. got about maybe three, three and a half city blocks covered. That's yes, about sir. as much as we can get. Yes, sir. And that, that is perfectly all right. And if y'all still can't hear us clearly, we've got a regular broadcast that's going to be going live as we're going through the parade. And that is going to be 98.5, the big dog, I believe. And so that's pretty exciting. Isn't is that right? Yep, 98.5, the big dog. So if y'all are not, uh, if y'all cannot hear us, don't blame us. Just blame your own hearing. So, <laughs> and also, just a quick trivia thing here. By a show of hands, if y'all can hear me, who went Black Friday shopping this holiday season already? Who went Black Friday shopping? Just give me a quick wave. Not much shopping, no, they do. How many of you shopped online, Amazon? How many of you shopped online? Now, guys, y'all got to spend some money in pine tops before you leave here, okay? <laughs> now, Abrams is back up right now, but they got some of the best barbecue and fried chicken you can find in this world now. Absolutely, you. absolutely. And also, right behind us, we got church groups and everybody, or several groups cooking back there. So, if you go away from here, hungry, it's your own fault. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, we're still we're coming up on 10 minutes left before the break begins. And also, uh, just a reminder, just to make sure that if y'all have any little ones running around here, make sure that uh, they are a good hand or arm's length distance away from you. We just want to make sure that this is as safe as possible because there's going to be a lot of different things and a lot of different uh, cars, Fire trucks, uh, possibly some horses. There may be a cab issue. I'm not sure. Yeah, and something else I need to remind everybody sitting on the curb is not going to be allowed because we've got the monster trucks coming through here by the Sudan Temple out of Wilson, and they need the whole street. There's about 20 of those guys back there. They're going to need the whole street, so everybody needs to be back behind the curb on both sides, on both sides of the sidewalk. Stay behind the curb, please. Thank you.
Mr. 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 Excuse me. Hey, how y'all doing? All right. How you doing? All right. How are you? All right. How much I love you? your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. How much are they? Um, three for ten or five dollars each. That blue pen writes fine. The main thing is I got to be able to read your telephone well, number. Okay. Because that's how I'm going to write I, I, I like my, uh, oh. I like, I like. Okay. Oh, you got a special. Yeah. <laughs> I look, I, they give them to us at work. I buy mine. Look, about uh, well, so, see, I so I went and bought these the other day because mm -hmm. I love a five point uh -huh. thing. Sound like me. I can't handle those big old. <laughs> I heard that. Right the pins. Hi, how are you? I'm in. One ticket is five dollars, or three for ten dollars. I'm writing. I'm writing my stuff in the wrong place, but you'll see it. Make sure that you're out of the way. Because those little two-day cards... Get your name and phone number and put the piece in the bottle. They are very, very neat. Now, but they are stuffed in the way. So we just want to make sure that everybody is all prepared. So Keep listening, because the prize money's up a little bit over $300 right now. Is it? Yeah, I'm recording it. You're separating those things so you've got better chances. You're right, yeah. Begin it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, how you doing? Right now, that if you go to Terminus, then you are under my L-U-S-A-N-C-D-A-N-C-Y, you'll be able to pick it up on Facebook. Later on, it'll be put on YouTube. Okay? Anyway, you got a lot of money. She says it's up to $300 already. <laughs> Whoa. You always be on pass. Uh, we are one minute down before the parade begins, all right? So it is an exciting time. So make sure that uh, either this is the last one to go get some food for the food trucks, or you can go get some after as well. And also make sure that y'all try to stay out of the street because we're trying to stay as safe as possible and having it as fun as possible as well. So let's have some fun, y'all, for the 36th annual Plants Hot Christmas Parade. Forward. Forward. Send him it'll be available on DVD too. 
Tell him to give me the assistance. The assistance the TV state. No, this is the most family. For you. Uh-huh. This is the most family. Right, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Yes, sir, I believe so, sir. Yeah, uh, I, I can already hear the sirens start to come down my way. But I, I tell you one thing, since I'm hearing those sirens, have you, have you been in one of those situations here in Pine Tops where in the middle of the night you just wake up and you just see all you hear is just a loud, blaring noise? And you are just so nosy and curious to see what in the world's going on. Next thing you know, that you see a big orange blaze in the sky, and you know that something bad is about to happen. Well, I was here during the biggest fire Pine Hops has ever had, and that's when the casket factory burned. And I was a Pine Hops fireman at the time. Well, when the point, when the siren goes off, you don't know where it's a car fire, whatever it is. I got up that night and just slid some pants on, put shoes on with those socks, and slid on the shirt. And little did I know it was going to be an all-night deal trying to put that casket factory out. Now, folks don't realize it, but we use so much water between using water and the uh, pipes breaking in the casket factory. Uh, we sucked all the water out of the tower that night. In fact, over at Town Hall, they said they pushed the button to drink water, and they heard it suffering back. Sucking back, we used so much water trying to get that fire. But anyway, that was a big night. You're talking about sirens and fires. That, that was yes, a big sir. night. And uh, I, I understand that we might lose a little bit of sleep because there's sirens that go off in the middle of the night, but the, the, the department here in Pine Sops is all volunteer. These guys and these gals, they give up their, their time, their effort, and they give up uh, basically the chance of uh, a future because they're putting themselves in danger just to save our community on a daily basis. So, as we hear those sirens and we see these police officers and deputies and troopers coming this way, make sure that you wave, smile, give them a big round of applause as they're coming by, because they're giving a very big sacrifice just to make sure that we stay safe. And I am just beyond blessed for this. James, if there's one thing I want to do, and we're always doing this parade, let's thank God for us being able to be here today. Absolutely. If you'll join me in prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we come here today to celebrate your life and to celebrate Jesus Christ, who you sent to this earth to show us what a perfect life could be, and to die that terrible death on the cross so we can have a so we can have eternal life. Heavenly Father, we appreciate that. But we celebrate his birth here this this season. All the kids here today to see Santa Claus and all that is good. But we've got to remember Jesus is the reason for the season. Heavenly Father, we Now you're talking about a group of people that have their hands full too. The police department on certain weeks, weekend. Practical and they stay busy all weekend long. Absolutely. And they do see some, uh, some, they, some men and some women here that are going to be walking up and down the street here. These are part of the BLET school with Edge Cone County, I believe. So, as you see these uh, guys and gals with these blue shirts and reflective jackets and vests, these are the future police men and women of possibly Edge Cone County and the state of North Carolina. So, it's really cool to see how uh, the future of the police force is still growing as it is today. That's one of the greatest things technical schools have done. They're still so state the police force at that level of a technical school, and that's a great thing they're doing. Yes, absolutely. All right, police car leading off. <laughs> Well, we're getting ready to start the parade right here in Pine Top. 40 years of Christmas parade you right here this weekend. And I tell you what, we have to skip 46 years. Lord, that's almost as old as I am. 
46 years of the parade. 46 years ago, it was now Fred's phone. You ain't seen starting this parade. And Kirby Fuller and the family might not to the committee there. You all get me back and go to all right, coming up right now is the Southwest Expo Air Force ROTC, led by Senior Master Sergeant Lester. They are thrilled to, they've won, they've won a distinguished unit, and above all, what Sergeant Lester says is, 75% of their members are going to college or either military. Now that's a great, great telling right there, they're either going to college or military, 75% of them. The color guard for out there. Okay, all right, Brenda, uh, Brenda Harrell is our mayor, and Stacy Harrell is our police The telephone, ladies and gentlemen, from Southwest West Coast, or Mark Elsholz. That's a sharp looking group. Okay, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
these kids waiting for Santa Claus. Now, I understand he's here. He's here today. Santa Claus is going to be here. Thank you. 
Is it sure we play up? Sure, yeah, it's sure we play up in the woods back there. Yeah, yeah. Got a whole crowd back there. Yes, sir. It's the 1930 Model A pickup that's in the parade. And look, it looks like John Moore Walton is sitting in the back, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the family, you're missing some of the kids, though. <laughs> Dare truck coming up from the Edgecombe County Sheriff's Department. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a program that started many years ago and is a very valuable, uh, very valuable thing in our, our community. To resist drugs and violence, there. All right. Okay, GW Curry Elementary School, our fifth grade graduate. They're riding, all right, they're riding. Bossy and Dash is all coming and sleeping where they're dating. Thank y'all so much. Hey, Merry Christmas to you kids. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Whoa. Now, here's the nice person we want to see for Christmas. The Grinch is here. Yeah, the last thing we need in this parade is the Grinch. And who is that? The Who? And the Who is the Who? All right. Just getting the hat too. Yeah. With their dog Max there. Uh, all right, coming up right now, the Mass Central High School Marching Blue Dog. Got a Rocky Mountain North Carolina. Burgundy. Brian Minster, the director. Brian, thank you so much, buddy, for being down here. Let's listen to him, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas. What is that? Cold hard cash. 
You have you don't you don't leave with the Grinch. <laughs> oh, you want to know our cat. But I tell y'all what, if anybody can hear me and y'all want cold our cat for Christmas, just give me a quick wave over here to the announcer saying. <laughs> All right, coming up right now to TFM. CDC Incorporated, Junior Eastward, Blue Job, and Adrian E. T. Eastern. The Toyo Truck with our banner logo and five participants coming up. All right, Food Foundation Ministries Incorporated, with very trained priests. All right, we've got a whole load of food there. Hey, buddy, Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is coming in a minute. Look at him smile. Yeah, the drop half and half drawing is five dollars. I think you get three for fifteen. It is a half and half drawing, but five dollars a ticket. Well, as we're still waiting here, y'all, does anybody know that the most recorded Christmas song of all time? The most recorded Christmas song of all time by musical artists. Does anybody know? Well, Alright, I heard, I heard the gist of the movie. No, uh, I don't know what things here. Hot Toss Baptist Church right here, celebrating the gift, ladies and gentlemen. And, and that is Pastor Randy Smith right there. Do. We gotta remember the reason for the season, and Jesus is the reason. Merry Christmas to y'all! Merry Christmas! You out there in a short sleeve shirt, young lady? Alright, Merry Christmas. Alright, so we've had multiple guesses on the most recorded Christmas song of all time. I'm gonna say I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Well, I'm sorry to say that you are wrong, Mr. Randy. Well, what's new about that? <laughs> it's actually Silent Night. Right, that's what oh, I'm wow, that's a great. Yes, it is. All right, here we come right now. Women of standards, ladies and gentlemen. You uplifting and giving back to society. Cash out. You see it on the side. Women of standards. <laughs> Oh, wow. We had a 50-50 raffle for the parade committee here this weekend, and this is to help offset the expenses of the parade. We just told the winner, ladies, how much money is the winner going to get? $500, the winner will get 500 Who is that lucky winner? Penny Moose, Penny Moose, where's Penny? Kitty Boots! Kitty Boots, you just won $500, lady! Yes, sir! On top town hall! Okay, you'll need to go to the town hall to get your money. Alright, here we come, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most popular Greeks ever in the parade, and these are the gun piles on a gun, North Carolina. They just look up. They just look up to no good for me. I'll tell you what, they just look up to no good for me. <laughs> yeah, they're trouble. When you see these guys coming, they're trouble because they're in the middle. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, they have food. I can take it out. They have just as much food as we can do with I took it. I can see you. I can see you. Yeah, yeah, here we go, the when he stooped to have a child. I love that motto. And I'd say no man or woman has stood so tall as when they stooped to have a child. I'll add that in there. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the pig. As to me, give me the pig. Piggly Wiggly story located throughout the North Carolina and one right down the street here, ladies and gentlemen. As to me. Yes, sir. Now, I'll tell you what, it looks like he's got a nice tail on him. Are we gonna cut him up after the parade and we're gonna make him the people are gonna be like, are you crazy? <laughs> you know what would really be nice if Chick would have done? What's that? Would have been just like Chick-fil-A and just start throwing chicken guts. 
Well, I think, I think what he did was safety. Nobody pulled anything out. Is that right? Or nothing being thrown out for safety. Yeah, but that would be a good idea. If they throw me a Chick Fil A, I would eat it. Yes, sir. And what's coming up next is South Edge Bone Fire Department. Just oh, located right. outside Minnie North Carolina. Minnie Moose picked up her five hundred some dollars. South Edge Bone Fire Department, ladies and gentlemen. Hey there, guys. Hey, hey. I'm going to see um, Daniel. Daniel Wayne. Wayne. I'm going to see Daniel. Wayne. 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 I don't want to try to pick her up here at the line, but I'm going to take her to the house and leave it down there. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to go down there later on. Yeah, you know, you see, when, when back in 1976, when the tractor bull started, we were trying to buy a car truck. You could buy a car truck back then for about $60,000, dollars Now you're talking about almost a half a million dollars for a car truck. Absolutely. Also, we want to recognize locality network and mind talk uh the building department for putting in the decoration of the background there. Thank you so much. Tony Lane for the ride on the truck. Alright, here we go guys. Here's some two damn temple got people about walking on the I think they're already full of cheer, don't you? Full of cheer. Hey, Christmas! Here somewhere. Yes, sir. As, <laughs> we need to break anyway, though. As the postal service is actually coming through, most people actually think that Black Friday and Cyber Monday are the busiest times to shop. But actually, it has been reported over the years that it is the Friday and Saturday before Christmas is actually the busiest shopping day. That's so what, that's for all those people who are not the case all the way. They didn't, they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, for the past day. I knew that word, but I just couldn't get it out. My tongue was on the left hand side of my mouth. I could not get that word out for for today. Yeah. So if y'all are hearing us right now, make sure you do your Christmas shop before Christmas, not the week before. You might just do it right after the Christmas parade. All right. And this year, the parade committee sponsored another window decorating contest for businesses. And the first place winner is Pine Top Pharmacy. Second place, second place is BNC Tax. And third place is Universal Transportation. Make sure you stop by and look at the window. These people down here, all they want to do is run around. That is our, that is our professional category. Under the non-professional category, the first place is Flowers by Water. And in the second place is Holiday, which is right behind us where Pat Salon is located. All right, very good, Curly. Thank you for that information. Where are you, where are you getting all this wisdom from? Getting it from the internet. It's what you want to do. I had a feeling you were. I have, you know what? I can get my phone out and I want to know something. You know, the thing, the thing of it is, the, the internet has taken wonder out of life. You ever remember sitting around talking about something and saying, I wonder what that was, or I wonder how to do that? All you got to do now is ask the internet, and they'll tell you how to do it. Well, I am young enough to actually grab a hold of the phone and use it uh, in a split second. But I am old enough to remember going to Pine Tops Library that used to be right down the road where the gym is located, right there beside Shermark, and trying to find a book to do a research paper on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you can go to the internet. It may be a lie, but you can get it off the internet. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, we've got this little wall here. Let's see who's got coming up right now. Oh, 
Is everybody having a good time today at the Pine Top Christmas Parade? All right. All right, the LDS Trust. Yeah, 15, ladies and gentlemen. Black Fusion, SWA, BFS 2.0. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Felicia Meeks, thank you. Where's Felicia? Raise your hand, Felicia. All right, she, she's back there in case anybody gets lost. She wants to gather them back in. Thank you, Felicia, for all the work you guys do. Thank you so much. Hey, we got another professional coach coming up right now. Hey, me, me, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, she is, okay. All right, look, we got a whole lot of the rounds up here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ABB Incorporated. That's one of our bigger employers here at the Pine Top of South End Cove area. Always supporting the parade and everything else. Where'd y'all get all them outfits from and get matched up? Y'all going back to the North Pole when you leave here at Santa? All right, and Santa's helpers, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, going back to the North Pole. No, Lord, look at that, man. Did you ever move like that when you were younger? No, I never. I can't. I've never been able to move like that unless my mama dropped me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, are we, are we employees of ABB? All right, employees of ABB and the kids. All right, yeah, there's an elf. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Mr. Wayne, look at that. That is Miss Tiffany Gardner over there. Hey, look at the dog and the lady. How about that? Mr. Gardner, Gardner, Tiffany. You know what that is right there? That is a Ford Falcon convertible. Now, that's got to be one of a kind now. Not many of them left. Yeah, he, he said something about right. But yeah. I, I know exactly what this is. Though. Everybody in the world can recognize this one. This is a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. Yeah. And that is driven by former utilities director Bill Webb. Bill Webb, all right. That's a good paint job on that, too, now. Yes, yeah. sir. All right, here we go. Hey, Merry Christmas to you. All right. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? Is that your husband or some other man beside you? Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Woo, ladies and gentlemen, see you on that Camaro. Camaro. And here we got right now another rally sport. Camaro. Merry Christmas to you. That's just pure knowledge right there, folks. Yes, sir. Super Sports Now, here comes the luxury car. This is a Thunderbird. Now, this won't like the uh, the cars are today. There was plenty of room in the trunk. I don't know what model is that. What year model is it? 70? 70, 70-something, 1970. Thunderbird. Well, it looks like we got a little bit of time for the space in between, but it looks like crawling around across the street over there. Who's trying to steal this? Oh, Grinch! Is it Grinch over there? Yeah. Grinch? Now, Doc, she said, I'm not going to touch him. He's trying to steal this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Grinch, you need to stop selling Christmas. Oh. Somebody, you know what the delay is? There's one of the bike riders had to go to the bathroom. They're going to be right on down there. Okay. <laughs> well, are you ready for some more, are you ready for some more fun facts here? Give me another fun fact. Make, it, right. make it a fun one now, okay? okay. All righty. Well, do you know who created eggnog in America first? Who created eggnog in America first? A cow? Come on. <laughs> 
I don't know. It was probably some group somewhere that just got something mixed up. What was going on? This is actually the first settlers of America. Oh, wow. I wonder how they did that. Well, I know they made corn liquor back then. And, and they had cows, so that's probably how it got together. You know. And also, just so uh, people know, the food trucks are still going on right behind us, behind the stage area. So we did have a quick uh, little break there in between. So if y'all get hungry, go over there and go see, get some food from the food truck vendors. Yeah, don't forget the local restaurants and local businesses here at Pine Top. Before you run out, go in and sit down and thank them for putting on this parade. That money to put this parade on comes from most of the vendors and the businesses around Pine Top and the half and half boys. So, Mr. Wayne, as you know, over the past two years, we weren't we were able to have a Christmas parade. I know that, and that's the first two years we never had a Christmas parade here for two years. Yeah. And Kirby liked to win crazy in those two years. He didn't know Absolutely. what he was going to do for himself. Thanks to all who participated in our fourth annual Christmas tree. It was a big success here at Pine Top. And that's right behind me. Right? Yeah, the tree right behind me. Christmas tree line. You know, I see Pine Top gets more and more Christmas spirit. And I think the town and you have got a lot to do with that. And the committee. And the committee, yeah. And also, since we talked about not being able to do Christmas parade for two years, the hospital staff here at Escom County does not get enough recognition for all the hard work that they do. So, let's give a quick round of applause for all the doctors, the nurses, ER staff, paramedics, everybody, EMTs, as well firefighters. Let's give a big round of applause to all of our emergency management and medical teams here. Yeah, I got a, I got a daughter and a granddaughter. And with, with that said, love the fire department, paramedics, and EMTs are very, very busy during Christmas time. But do you know how many EMTs and firefighters and paramedics sent people to the ER just for Christmas decorations? No, how many? Over 15,000 people a year go to the ER just for uh, just for calling or hurting themselves decorating for Christmas. Did all those people fit the Rocky Mountain Island? I don't think so. Look. Well, you're right. I mean, you know, that's place a lot of people fall off the ladder to do Christmas time. That's yes, the thing you need to do. So make sure y'all stay safe and decorate for Christmas. And also, don't cut your fingers because paper cuts are the worst now. Paper cuts are the worst. Right? Okay. Right. See, he got that from a paper cut. <laughs> He's missing half his finger. Well, I, I see some dancing going on down the street there, Mr. Oh, yeah. I all right, the dance and couple company, ladies and gentlemen, the float you see coming up right now was number one float in the non-professional uh, division, the last float, number one float in the non-professional division, dance and couple. Ponja Music is leader of that, and they're from here from Pine Top, North Carolina. Oh yeah, right over there in that building. So if your child wants to get into dance and music, you need to bring them over there and and check them in. Merry Christmas to you guys. Come on, smile and say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is coming. I'm sorry, he's back yonder somewhere. Santa Claus is coming. All right. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya, for participating in our parade again this year. All right, listen, guys, we got music and dance. Here we go. All right, give my hand, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. They were together. And look in the back. We had some beautiful ones back there, and they were keeping right up with the big ones, too. That's great. Great job. I tell you what, here are those tails. They're getting more and more tied up in the Oh, yeah, man, that was great. That was great. All right, so 
ladies and gentlemen. You know what their slogan is? Their slogan is to love God and to love man. Amen. That's it. That's the whole book. All right. Here we go. This is Ralph Chapel also. Second place, not the best one right here. Stephen, Stephen moved down here from another locale, and he's still in love with this southern hospitality already. All right, Merry Christmas to you. Let's hear it. Merry Christmas. All right. Jesus is the reason for the season. Don't forget that. I know that. Hey, if they drink once in one time, I'll say that Jesus is the reason for the season. All right, Pete. I don't want you to have those hard eyes looking at me. All right, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another professional. We've got a whole bunch of people on this one. Man. And also, just a reminder, y'all, the uh, Sudan little monster trucks are about to come down the road. All so right, make sure that y'all are staying clear off the road, off the curb, and okay? All right, South Edge Cone Middle School. I do believe. Okay. Diamond B. Justin Bale. Where's Justin Bale? Justin Bale. Justin, how you doing, buddy? All right. Person Transportation. Sponsor that club. Justin, thank you, sir, for being here. All the others, too. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Merry kids. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. That's the way to get in the spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Carver High School Band coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Carver High School Band Vikings, ladies and gentlemen. They, they were on TV last night. You were talking about winning the ball game. They won the ball game last night. Madison, Madison leading this baby, leading the group. Let's see. Time that, Madison. Time that. Time
They can say what they want to be that slow, they will never go away from the God we pray. Hey, buddy, look at that smile on that guy. That's on this guy. <laughs> All right, Princeville. Hey, Princeville, how you doing, buddy? That's a brand new truck, ain't it? Oh, your parade this afternoon? Is that right, Princeville? Yeah, that's the lady Princeville this afternoon. All right, here comes the folks house. Thank you. The locality networks, they also help put up the Christmas decorations throughout town. And they were life saving. And I do believe, you know what? These two people used to think of utility workers as all men. But that's not necessarily true, is it? All right, yeah, all right. Merry Christmas to you. All right, everybody move back from the curb. Look, if you are. Everybody move back from the curb. Even you, Sparky. Everybody move back from the curb. These organizations, I have a right here. Judge Rayford is organization out of uh, on the monster truck out of Wilson, North Carolina. Uh, they started in 1998. The first the way they ever went into the pine block. They were the first the way they went into the pine block. They're going to be doing five Christmas parades this year and five parades that are throughout the year. They're not going to college. We're in the right direction. 
The first hit they've ever made right here, ladies and gentlemen. The first hit they've ever made. I'll tell you what, that is one small cabin they got there. They've got different groups represented up there from different facets of the school. You know, we've got the ROTC there. We've got different people, different represented out of different groups there at the high school. You guys doing a great job. There's somebody locked up in jail. Now, who you got locked up in there? <laughs> huh, this, yeah, the Grinch needs to be in. Who's that Grinch? Janice <laughs> uh, Workshop. That's Santa Claus in there. Merry Christmas. Wow, somebody did a lot of work. Well, as we're waiting, in this little pause in here, are you ready for another fun Christmas pack? Give me a short, fun Christmas pack. What is a holiday favorite food? A holiday favorite food? That is searched by Google the most right before Christmas. I would say turkey. Alrighty, turkey. Alright, y'all. Just say it out loud for me real quick on what y'all think. I believe that's the Ford Operators, is that, is that right? Yeah, Operators, right. That's a nice little Ford Model A, Ford Model A. that's a I mean, Andrews is in this parade, bro. Wow, wow. Well, the answer to the question for the most expensive food that was looked up by Google was actually ham. Ham. This was ham. All right. All right. Pass 22. Yes, sir. That is ladder 22. How far would that ladder stretch out? That would stretch up to 75 feet long. 75 feet long. And that is stretched out. That yeah. is great. <laughs> And that is actually driven by my father. All right. All right. Hey, Merry Christmas, Well, you know, people think, well, we don't have a 75-foot building here in Hyde The thing over here is you've got to get up to be able to reach over and these planks and these maples and these planks and these maples 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 Alright, I'm going to show the Management Services out of Edgestone County. I guess there was a cold man one morning next door to go, right? Yeah. Oh, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing! I knew it was going to get cold. I didn't know it was snowing. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir, I like that slogan. This is the Circle Cross Cowboy Church. All right. Thank that fancy. Look at that man with a wagon in it, all that sort of stuff. You brought me on a horse. Where's your horse? <laughs> yeah, that, that one horse hey, that goes right and looks a little hot there. We got music too. All right. It's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing. Hey, there's a horse. That's two horses. But that horse looks a little hot there, Mr. Yeah. Wayne. There's something wrong with the one in the middle. I don't know yeah. what it is. There's Thank you to the DNL Plug Company for providing the plug here today. Okay, this is the current stop. There's four groups in Edgecombe County. Melissa Phillips. Where's Melissa? All right, hey Melissa. Do you didn't know you were gonna have so many children in your life, did you? <laughs> Do you feed them all? Do you have to feed them? No. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sponsored by Southern Bank, ladies and gentlemen. Southern Bank, right here on the corner. 
It's alright. I've been in some sticky situations. And I've gotten stuck a couple of times in my life, too. But never in my life, I never thought I needed to be that high off the ground when I got stuck in the bird. I'm telling you that I, you can go through a ditch and that one I'm going to take. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, that, that was the do y'all run that on the mud one or just just the first? Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I wouldn't get it dirty either. Listen, the ATV crew, ladies and gentlemen, the ATV crew. All my right, good. We got a chicken and we got a hot dog. We got a hot chicken meal, $100 meal, and this is my father. How about that? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, here we go. Money, baby, leaves. Okay. Money, baby, leaves. That's a nice looking Mustang. Nice looking lady said it here, too. All right, there's a few trucks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Somebody put it in there. Yeah. 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 Fire trucks have come a long way since 1927. Oh, 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 oh. And right here is actually Mike's Steel Fire Department. This is actually one of those. A lot of people don't know it, but Mike's Steel Fire Department burned about two years ago. Uh, we started out with a new fire department and new fire trucks. So yes, it was sir. a major change for them. Thank goodness they had insurance to cover it. But they started out with all new fire trucks and a whole new fire house because it burned to the ground. Yes, sir. And they have it. They have it. All right. Mike Steele has the first. You know, if you've ever been in the old Mike Steele fire department, it won't come with a lot of wood. If you put it on the ground, it won't come with a lot of wood. If you put it on the ground, it won't come with a lot of wood. If you put it on the ground, it won't come with a lot of wood. I was going to go to the fire department back when the fire station burned down. Did you know that the building adjacent to the ABC store? And so when the fire station burnt down, the ABC store did too. And with all that alcohol that was in that building, it caused many Does anybody have fun here at the Five Times Christmas Parade? Yeah! All right, here comes the happy holiday music, Cougar Cub. They started to go down. Cougar Cub I was here for the new thing to greet you. I'll tell you what, 
a jail while ago and they carried him off. Uh oh, oh, I, didn't, I thought you was going to lose me there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, that quick step move would have been the best. That gets this all over here in a minute. All right, here we go, Lady Bird. Yeah, all right, Deshaun. Thank you for bringing the kids down today. Yeah. Let's give a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, Deshaun Moore. Lady Fern Free. I mean, the Lady Fern. Fern, the Lady Fern Long. Fern, the Lady Fern Long. Lady Fern Long. All right. Yeah. Lady Fern all right, here, here's a little Santa Claus thing. No, it ain't a reindeer. Reindeer. Yeah, hey, reindeer. What's the reindeer? You need to be moving on up to the little pole. Yeah. Parade next year will be December 2nd, 2023. 
Mark your calendar, write it down in the call right now, December 2nd, 2023. I remember that. She packed into that notebook, had it there, telephone on and she was gracious enough to have it fixed. Mr. Wayne, I'm like you have a deja vu, but I believe this is Southwest Day Gold Pass. They were, they were so good, we had to get them back. Sponsored by Flowers by Robert, ladies and gentlemen. Southwest Day Gold Pass School. Wayne Holloway directing it. We're the only parade in America that the lead band is the finishing band at the same time. But they also give me one to give it back again. I believe they're going to play us a song here, ladies and gentlemen. Get us in the Christmas spirit!